What's up YouTube? Evec Records here. Um, today I'm going to bring you a video on how to replace the ECU um, BCM out of the 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, so the ECU that I got is right over here. Uh, right there. It came out of an Evo GSR. Alright, so uh, before messing anything with the ECU, before disconnecting it, you're going to want to uh, go ahead and disconnect the negative battery cable. Uh, as you see, I relocated my battery. It used to be here. Um, so in this case, it'll probably be easier if you just take out the air box, which comes from here. There'll be an air box, and it basically just pulls out once you unbolt it. Oh, but we're going to go ahead and take out the negative cable. But with us, since it's not here anymore, we're going to take out the positive one so we can get the battery out of the way. Um, basically, like if it was an air box, go ahead and take out the positive one as well. Okay, so once we remove the battery, or in your case, maybe um, an airflow box, you're going to get these two bolts right here that you're going to want to uh, take out. So let's go ahead and do that. For this, we're going to require a ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket at the end. Alright, so once we get those two bolts out, we can go ahead and pivot this a little bit, just like that. Now you're going to see uh, two clips on the back, and what you want to do is you want to push in this tab, and then that will allow you to pull out the, the little clip. So we'll do the same thing for the other one, and we just pull it right out. So there's the old ECU. And then here's the new E, or I guess used, uh, with 50,000 miles on it, uh, 2008 Evo GSR ECU that we're going to go ahead and replace. So basically you just reverse the steps, you just clip those in, and then you, instead of just pulling the tab, you just clip it, and then it should lock in place. Clip, lock, just like that. I may have a couple other errors on it since it's an Evo one. It's going to check for some um, like boost control solenoids and stuff like that. But with that being said, we're going to find a way to fix that as well. Um, so yeah, that's basically how to do that. So let's go ahead and uh, hop into the driver's side and go ahead and install the BSM. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and reposition this battery. I'm still working on the hold down, so bear with me on that, but let's go ahead and connect the positive first. And then connect the negative. position okay so this is two codes found intake air temperature sensor too high um, and then it lost communication with the anti-lock brake system control module which um, I didn't have that code before I switched out the ECU um, 
So I wonder if I clear it, if it'll show up again. But other than that, everything seems to be working fine except for the ABS light and the airbag light. Uh, so I'm going to look into that and see what I can do about that. I'm getting it fixed. Uh, but other than that, that's basically how you put an ECU and a VCM in a 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer. Uh, again, I got bought a whole kit. It came with the ECU, the VCM, the immobilizer for the key. Um, that way I don't have to... Uh, reprogram anything, take it to a dealer and be charged outrageous amounts. And it was only about 400 bucks. I got this steering column right down there. Um, so like if I didn't have the push button start, it came with the ignition switch as well. So I had everything I needed, but I got a push button start. So all I had to do is uh, uh, trick it to thinking that the keys in the ignition. Uh, so yeah, if you like this video, please comment, rate and subscribe for more awesome videos. All right, peace.